Hello and welcome to Mount Harmon Plantation at World's End, one of Maryland's most beautiful historic sites. We can't wait to share it with you. A visitor to Mount Harmon will find a beautiful colonial plantation, a 200-acre nature preserve you can explore with nature trails and bounteous wildlife, herds of deer, and a stunning tidewater setting. That's one thing that hits me as I drive into what is a great approach to Mount Harmon, the driveway. It helps to get you to transition from the 21st century to the 18th century. We are off the Sassafras River. It was known on early maps as World's End. If you can imagine coming over across the Atlantic Ocean in the colonial time period by schooner. Waterways connected us to the world. The minute you step on the water, you're in Africa, you're in South America, you're in the Caribbean, you're anywhere in the world. So what you see around you at Mount Harmon is very global. Even in the colonial times, it was very global at this very remote place. This is our grand entrance hall, designed to impress, featuring our Chinese Chippendale staircase railing and our beautiful hand-painted wallpaper custom made for Mount Harmon. There's lots of ways to look at Mount Harmon, but if we wanted to look at how things worked, how do they just function day to day, then we start to get into those questions of land, labor, and capital. This is our 18th century recreated tobacco barn that's kind of the centerpiece of our campus. The Native Americans taught the early settlers to grow tobacco, and tobacco became very popular in Europe and was a huge cash crop for the colonial settlers where there was no industry, where there was nothing but growing tobacco and sending it back. Tobacco is what paid the debts. Tobacco is what created the wealth. It was the cash crop that created all this incredible um, opulence and history around us. We study history so we can learn from it. Not all of Mount Harmon's history was glorious or, or attractive. We are in the slave quarters, newly built, newly recreated from an awful lot of research to be historically accurate. It's a place that some people would be uncomfortable with, black and white alike. It's a place that I draw strength from because I think of all that has occurred since the days of such a slave cabin. The amount of labor needed to run a plantation like Mount Harmon was quite great and began with indentured servants. They quickly realized that they needed more labor than that and it's really the dark chapter in our history. They realized the African slave trade was quite useful in terms of meeting their demand for labor. Slavery was not an American invention. America's twist, however, was to racialize it, and that's what made America different, and that's what we're grappling with. In addition to the gentry story we tell in the manor house, there is also the story of hearth cooking that was done by indentured servants and slaves, and was a lot of hard work. Wouldn't have seen that if you were in the manor house. Mount Harmon gives us a snapshot, it gives us an opportunity to look back into the past and examine ourselves, examine the cultural conflicts that we've had 200 years ago and that we face today. As far as being a descendant of slaves, uh, I'm a, I am, and on both sides of my family. It's very important to keep an eye on the past because you have to know where you've come from. The Revolutionary War reenactment experience at Mount Harmon is a very special time where families can see and experience up close what potentially happened in the Revolutionary, what the food that the soldiers ate, who followed the troops. Were the British good? Were the British bad? Were the colonists really rebels? It's like time traveling. When we have school groups here, it is so exciting when the light bulb goes off and they realize suddenly why we celebrate the 4th of July, that it's because we're not British anymore. We have wonderful field trips for students. It's a much richer experience than a textbook or memorizing dates. They can get out and see how nature and history are intertwined through time. We love to give 
visitors many reasons to come to Mount Harmon. You can come and get a guided tour of our historic buildings and grounds. We also now feature day passes, so you can bring your friends and family. We have a fabulous new Mount Harmon Wicomico Hunt point-to-point -point event in the spring, our Bull and Oyster Roast in the fall, and our Yuletide Festival in December. Mount Harmon also offers memberships. It's almost like having your own private estate without doing the mowing. There's something for everybody in Mount Harmon. There's the natural beauty, there's the cultural history, and there's just the enjoyment of the property. We were at World's End then, and by virtue of its location on the Chesapeake Bay, we're at the end of the world now. History isn't flat, it's not just a book with dates. You know, just coming down our lane, we call it our time machine. It's just a place to step back in time, experiencing the history all around you. The ghosts of the past can be closer here. It's a place that's never really going to be tamed, almost like America itself. History comes to life at Mount Harmon Plantation. Come time travel with us soon.